All right, Jared, so Peachtree, notable athletes, I believe Cameron Hayward. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, good uh, family friend. Yeah, yes. Cameron Hayward. Let's see, we got uh, Vessel, who plays for the Spurs. Yeah. A couple others. How Nick, was it? Nick, Nick Nider from Nick the Nider. Marlins. There we go. Uh, a few guys. Kevin Minner played in the yes. NFL. We've had some good players for sure. Okay. Can you talk about that? Because it seems like this is a, a sports school, pretty big on sports. Yeah, I would say it's the actual area where I'm from in general. Uh, Charlie Blackman went to my rival high school. Matt Olson uh, is in the area. Austin yeah. Meadows, Clint Frazier, a ton of big league baseball players, football players, guys in the NBA. So I think it's just one of those areas in the suburbs of Atlanta that has a lot of former pro guys and kids that aspire to be pros. So a lot of us end up being very lucky. All right, so growing up, who were some of your favorite baseball players that you watched? Oh. Barry Bonds is always my guy. Left-handed hitter, kind of always commanded the box, but Ken Griffey Jr., Robinson Cano, uh, tons of guys. Chipper Jones, I wasn't a huge Braves fan, but always respected the way that he hit the ball. So, uh, yeah, so many, huge baseball fan growing up. All right, so let's see how I can answer this. So video games, MLB The Show. Yeah. When you see yourself on a video game, I'm pretty sure growing up that was like a dream, yeah. but it's reality. When you see yourself on MLB The Show, what do you think? Be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, it's shocking. You know, when you're growing up, you see these guys on the show and they're on such a pedestal and you never really think yourself. And then you get to the big leagues. And uh, I don't think you ever think of yourself the way that you thought of those other players, if that makes sense. You know, when you were a kid, you'd see these guys and you're mind blown. And now you realize everybody's just a guy. You know, we're normal people. I, lo I love that. Yeah. So are you a gamer by any chance? Not huge. Uh, I was the youngest, and I had four older brothers, so they were playing constantly, and I didn't really get much of a chance. So, not okay. a huge gamer. Okay, so I gotta ask you: if you had a walk-up song and it was named after you, and you can have two or three artists on the song of your choice to make the song, what would, who would be the artist? Nas, no question. Um, that is tough. It really depends. I would say, even if I gave you an answer, it wouldn't make sense. I'd gone through phases like. When I was a kid, listen to the Temptations a lot. Um, but I like some country, I like oldies. So if it were right now, I'd say Nas, Mac Miller. Okay. And um, there's a guy named Fling Flamingosis who does mm -hmm. like, uh, he redoes like old school beats yes. and makes them hip hop beats. So I'm really into the hip hop beats kind of stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm looking down, you're a Nike guy. Yeah. So are you in the sneakers by any chance? I am a little bit. I'm just getting into it. I okay. I was in the minor leagues for a while, I so I didn't have any money to spend on shoes. But now that I'm a little more comfortable financially, that's something I'll be getting into. Okay, okay. So if you can have a custom cleat, yeah, and it was inspired by something Nike makes you clear, say, hey, this is a one-on-one, -on -one, a player exclusive. What would you want it to be inspired by? Kind of an odd answer, but I uh, really like New York City, I like that mm -hmm. kind of vibe, the urban gritty thing. So maybe something about that, you know, with the skyline or something like that kind of play into it a little bit okay last question so if, let's say if the olympics did the home run derby and you had to take four other people with you throughout the league to be in the home run derby with you currently who would be the guys that you would take in the home run derby with you i'm pretty sure you got two guys right now that you are <laughs> yeah. Here. yeah uh in terms of the derby huh just for the sake of entertainment i'll leave trouty out of it even though i think he could probably go in most yeah. years uh, after what i saw out of pete alonzo in denver i think he's got to be in it uh, Giancarlo Stanton is a very scary guy to be on the field with when he's hitting. So him, Shohei, and then probably Aaron Judge. I mean, these guys have, you know, a lot of us have power, but they're in a whole other stratosphere. I mean, you got power too, 20, yeah, 27 not, homers. But yeah, man. but not, not like those guys. No, no, uh, not even close. You know what? You said Nas earlier. Really. So have you listened to Kings of Seas too? The I have album? not. No, you I have not. I'm, to it. I'm like so stuck on Illmatic and stuff like oh, that wow. that it's hard. Like Memory Lane's probably my favorite song. So yeah. the oldies but the goodies. I kind of stick with what I know, you know. All right, Jeremy. I appreciate you and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me.